Alright, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the Alpha Console Edit. I'll show you a quick clip of what it looks like, and then we'll get right into it. Alright, so first of all, we're going to need a program called Alpha Console. If you don't know what Alpha Console is, you should feel really bad about yourself. Just type in Alpha Console on Google, alphaconsole.net, give it a download. Uh, should say that this only works on PC. Unfortunately, console players, if you're trying to do this, I don't believe there's a way you can. But maybe prove me wrong someday, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to teach you how to download it or anything like that. There's a video right here, you can watch that, get everything going. So, now that we have Alpha Console downloaded, we're going to open it, wherever it may be. Cool. So, I'm going to delete this real quick for the sake of the video. We got Alpha Console right here. So, like I said before, Alpha Console... Actually, I don't think I said this. Alpha Console is a program that allows you to give you any item in the game. Uh, only you can see it. doesn't benefit you in any way, just for the sake of making your car look cool without having to spend money. So, it's a great program. So, what we're going to do is we have our Alpha Console loaded up. We're going to go into Rocket League. And we're going to find ourselves a replay that we want to use. I already have a replay picked. It's kind of a weak clip, but I think it's this one. Alright. So first, we need to gain information about the car and what we want to change. So, as you can see right now, I have uh, Falcon Wheels, Funny Book Decal, and a Tachyon. I think that's how you say it, Boost. Um, the only thing I'm going to be changing today is the decal, so that's all the information I need. So, we now have the funny book decal. I'm going to go back into Alpha Console. I'm going to click New. With our new thing, we're going to pick... going to pick decal. We are replacing the Dominus funny book. So I'm going to find that real quick. Perfect. And... I think for this one, I'm only going to do uh, animated decals. So, let's just say I start with Trigon. I'm going to save and apply. And you'll notice the first thing I do when I go back into Rocket League, it hasn't changed at all whenever this wants to load in. So it hasn't changed just yet. What we have to do is press Escape, change replay, re-click on the replay. And if we go back to our car, it should be Trigon. So, pretty much we're just going to be doing that and re-recording the clip over and over again until um, we have all the decals that we need and then we're gonna throw them all together in editing. So, another thing that we need to note is we want to keep everything inside of the game consistent. So, let's go back here. Um, so for this one, I think I'm going to hide all the overlay. So I'm gonna press H, H, H. And for every recording I'm going to do from now on, I'm going to continue that process just so when I clip it all together, it's not choppy and things look consistent within the recording. So what we're going to do is just we're going to record this clip real quick and then we're going to do that for different decals and I will see you whenever we have all of those. All right, so now that we have everything recorded, we're going to go into Sony Vegas. I'm sure you could use this with other programs, but Sony Vegas is the thing that I use. So let's get into it. First, we need to pick a song that we want to sync our video to. Uh, I've already picked mine. You can do whatever you want. If you want more examples, you can check out my uh, Flamingo video. I will have it previewed right here or something through the power of editing. And uh, let's get into it. So, the part I'm going to be syncing is these five little guitar clicks, I guess you could call it. I'll show you right here. So I spent a good 30 or 40 minutes aimlessly editing, not really sure what I wanted to do with this. Um, so I skipped ahead a good amount, and I'm just going to let you know what I've done in that time. So you can see these uh, orange lines in Sony Vegas right there. Those are marks. All you have to do is press M, and then those will pop up. I put a mark on each part that I wanted to sync. Uh, this is going to help me just uh, put my clips where they need to be because the clips lock on to those areas. And uh, that's about all I've done up until this point. I've just grabbed all six of the clips with the different decals, 
and uh, put my marks there. And we're going to go from there. So the premises of this is we are taking each one of our clips. So I got my trigon one right here. If we go frame by frame, we then slip to the slipstream. And we're trying to make sure that the animation is still smooth and running. So if I take this two frames back and say if I stop it right here between the trigon and the slipstream, you see I have stopped it on the same frame. You can see the light in the back kind of going crazy. Um, I stopped it on the same frame in which uh, both of them were changing. If I kept it like this, it kind of gives this weird stutter effect. I like, you don't want to do that. So what we're doing is we're on the same frame. We're going to our next clip right here and we're going to delete one frame by just dragging uh, one frame over like that. Bring it back over here. That way the animation is still smooth and running and it actually looks like it's just a continuous Rocket League game. And then uh, we repeat the process and we keep going. So let's keep going. So now that we got all of them kind of pasted together, we're working with, uh, why isn't that pre-rendering? We're working with a little something that looks like this. Let's see. No, that's right. Do a pre-render real quick. And we're working with this right now. Cool, so you gotta add some effects and I will be back with the finished product, I guess. All right, so this is what the finished product is looking like right now. You can see I got my effects in there, got all my marks where the animations are splitting. If I kind of run through it, you can kind of see each one changing just like that. So now that we have that all set up, it's time to show you the finished product for this little clip. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. I would love to see you guys start using this in your edits. I'll see you later.